Hi everyone, I'm JD from We Let Down Journals. Welcome back to my channel. We are up to the last part of this video series, making a vintage French journal together. So this is where we are going to add all the ephemera into the pockets and paper clipping them to pages. There's just one thing I need to mention. I completely forgot that we were adding our off cut of the vellum strip from one of the pages. So here on this flip out page, I've shown you how I've just sewn it to this page here. How did I do that once I'd bound it already? I flipped the journal like this, put this underneath my sewing machine like that, and sewed around there. A bit tricky, I don't recommend doing that, but if you need to, that's a way you can work around that. So there is my extra vellum pocket. We're making use of all our off cuts. So our page off cuts, pages that didn't quite make make it into the journal, I have kept those to show you, you can use every little bit. So I'm just going to sit down and let us uh, go through this journal together. Got my paper clips and have a look at what we've got. So we've got pockets, pockets, pockets everywhere. <laughs> I start off with my favourite pockets, to be honest. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. I'm just going to add a tag here, I think. I'm liking this blue page. And then I think I want to place in here a few things, because I do have quite a lot of tags and things so I might put the receipt and another tag in there mm, a bit too dark for this page I'll go to that one instead now this could all change as I go through the journal okay so this one here I needed something big that can stand out there, so I might use that one. And then over here, I do love these tags. I might, hmm, I do like, there's a lot of things I like. <laughs> so much of a muchness could put anything anywhere. Um, I think I wanna put a tag like this here. Here, yep, and then I'll put the other tag like that over on the other side, like that, and then okay, so I do have that we can't be seen, so maybe I'll put that tag there. We have this tag pocket. So I might just having a look. I, I just want that to be seen, that's all for that one. So I might put in seat. Now I could kind of stack this in a fun way. Let's see how this can go. Mm. Too big. But I could stack it something like that. And then here, do I want to put you? And then the other side, I think I want to put you. And then here, I do love this tag. Oh, I love this tag too. Mm.
too many options. <laughs> okay, I think I like that one there. That script is quite nice. And I could, I'm always going to go back actually. Because I can add more. Oh, I like that. Because it says Paris, so you get the script. Oh, I love that. Okay. Then here. Maybe want you. Because okay, I've got so much left over. I can double these pockets up. Put multiple things in the pockets. But at least every main pocket has something. Let's have a look. I could put you here. And then I could add something up there, for example. And then this one here. Let's have a look. Options, options galore. <laughs> um, I do love that one. Have that sticking out like that. And then maybe I do like the blue too. Yeah. A bit of colour contrast. And then in here, I think I want this one here. Yeah, that's good again where it says Paris. And in here, let's go with a few, couple of different things. I like seeing through that glassine bag. All right, I think I missed some pockets at the start. So let's have a look. Let's put something colorful at the start. And at the back then, Oh, we've already got something colourful there, so we're probably not going to put something colourful there. Um, but I might add... Oh, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> Excuse my stomach. Almost lunchtime. All right. Now we'll just have a look and make sure everything has something... Just do a double there. And we can put some things in here, but they'll get drowned out. I could put a larger tag in if I wanted, but I like kind of having some of the bags and envelopes free so that people can feel permission to put their own things in there, in those bigger pockets. Sometimes if you already have something in a pocket, you're like, oh, I can't put my own thing in there. There's already something in that pocket. Whereas these ones, you can add a photo, add a letter. Okay, not really liking how that's sticking out there. Mm. So I might just even do a bit more angular. <laughs> the same size? Yeah. That one. Okay, let's just go with that. <laughs> Lots of goodies. And this one, I don't want to cover up that. Hmm. Maybe I could put that behind. Maybe no one can see that. No one can see that either. Okay. <laughs> don't like the same height but I'm gonna go with it because we've got so much so many things it's just gonna happen like that this one here I might put you in there too there's a little secret tuck here maybe I could just add that here like so yeah I quite like that actually it's quite nice Oh, I forgot about this pocket. <laughs> All right, we've got a few extra pieces. I don't have to include everything, 
but I want to. <laughs> um, maybe I put that in there too. Okay, now my paper clips. Let's just add one here for some of these leftover pieces. So put you there and here and then one more maybe right here I could just add a tag and you. Now I do have <laughs> these so maybe oh look perfect I forgot to cut that open Oh, that's why. I forgot it was a top loading pocket. That's all right. This is a good demonstration to show. You can actually put bigger things in there. And I'll just do that. And then one last one. Well, that was an extra page anyway that we didn't need. So I don't think I need to include that. All right. There is the completed vintage french journal how exciting you guys i hope you had fun following along and making your own journal just gonna trim these up a little bit and yeah be sure to uh, share a photo on instagram and tag me or the facebook group page so i can see what you've created and we can all cheer you on i love it in the next video, I will do a full, final flip through of this journal. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you're doing really well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you so much to my beautiful patrons who supported me in October and allowed me to create and share videos for another month. If you'd like to become a patron in November and support what I do here, that would be so, so appreciated. I'll leave the link below to my Patreon in the description box below where you get access to extra videos, first preference for my journals, uh, behind the scenes updates, and if you're a Ruby tier or high, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy plus an extra one every month. And there are also some mail tiers. You get something sent to you in the mail.